You better turn up You better be there when I shake Watch me rockin' if I can't stop Hello beautiful people and welcome to another video with your girl Siobhan. Thank you for joining me for another cleaning motivational video. Today I will be tackling my kitchen. Yes, top to bottom it is a complete disaster, but that's okay. It is the heart of the home. We are always in here and I just need to get it together. It didn't take as long as I thought it would, but um, again, it still took a while. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to get that cleaned up. My son, we just came in. He just came in from school. I had him take out the garbage and I changed my clothes and now it's time to get to work. So thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you're a lifetime loyal, welcome, welcome, welcome back, I should say. Thank you so, so much. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. I hope you will con consider subscribing and becoming a part of the Lifetime Loyal family. So now I'm gonna start by cleaning off my island. And for some reason, I usually do my island last, but I wanted to start with the island, get that all cleaned off, and then I'm going to work on the dishes. to put the dishes away that were already clean then I'm going to start working on the dishes in the sink it wasn't that many but enough also to give you an update I did get a package from Cascade and it had some of their products in there and they did get back to me and said that they're working on the installation so um, they have the dishwasher they're just getting someone to install it so that should be coming soon and they did state that it would be in the month of April. So that should be coming very soon. I'll keep y'all always up to date with that, with everything that's going on. But again, right now I'm just doing these dishes. And as I was doing the dishes, I was thinking, of course, I cannot wait to have that dishwasher. I love doing dishes, but if I could just put the dishes in the dishwasher and then, you know, work on some other things like cleaning my pots and pans, sweeping and scrubbing the floor, wiping off the cabinets, the doors and so forth. Yes, I've also been looking at some different um, blinds for the windows. I went to, well, also Amazon, I will say Amazon first. And then I went to Home Depot and Lowe's and looked at their blinds and spoke to their kind of like professional rep because I want to get blinds put in the windows. So don't worry about those paper blinds that are on the door and the windows in the kitchen. Those will eventually be taken off. Just know that the kitchen is going to get an overhaul if you're wondering. So wherever I have paper blinds, they'll eventually be gone. I'm just trying to decide on which type of blinds I actually want because I just don't want to go and pick anything. I'm, I'm really trying to be intentional with picking items that I'm going to have for a while. And blinds are not cheap. Now, I know I can go to Walmart which I may do. I'm not saying that I, I'm not going to do this. I can go to Walmart and get the blinds. I think they're like eight to ten dollars or something like that uh, I forget what they're called but I can buy those put them up myself and be done with it Lowe's is having a special where they will charge you 
$19.99 to come and measure your windows and then the $19.99 will come off of $99.99 so let's just say $80. It'll be $80 to install whatever type of blinds you decide to get. So they'll come out and measure and everything and then you can go back to the store and order what you want and then they'll charge you another $80 to install. I think it's like 10 windows, something like that. But that's a pretty good deal. That way I don't have to work, wonder about measuring and um, installing all the blinds and so forth, although it's not hard, but it does save you some time. But the thing is, their blinds are really, really expensive. Now, I don't know if you remember in the old house, I had bought some faux wood blinds for the living room window. I ordered those off of Amazon. I think they were around $90 for those blinds that were in the window at the old house. I left those there because there was no need to try. The, the window there is different from the windows here. So I just left it there. I left a lot of stuff at that old house, guys. I, I just couldn't do it. I could not do it. I feel bad. Like I wish I would have brought it. But then again, I'm like, I, I brought too much as it is. I'm still going through and giving away stuff as it is. But anyway, neither here nor there. So <laughs> I'm going to finish cleaning up these dishes. Then I'm going to wipe off the counter as well as wipe off these cabinets. You know, with the kids opening and closing the cabinet doors and stuff, it kind of gets a little, you know, fingerprinty and food may be on them and different stuff like that. So I just wipe them down real good and then we'll move on. I've been running around in circles for so long I never really understood what I did wrong I was trying hard to find a place where I belong I lived an empty life, but I had to carry on I guess I really was giving up on love And I tried to block those feelings off Said I know in a millisecond Then it all came back When I thought that everything was lost On a cold November night When I met my missus right Made my feelings come to life again When I thought I didn't care I just saw what's standing near Made my feelings come to life again Now I wake up every morning next to her Gotta pinch myself to prove that she's my girl. my girl There's no place I'd rather be here in this world Cause I have no doubt and I know she is the one I guess I really was giving up on love And I tried to block those feelings off In a millisecond And it all came back When I thought that everything was lost on a cold November night, when I met my missus right My feelings come to life again My feelings come to life again I didn't care, I just saw what's standing near Made my feelings come to life again She's my missus right My only one and only one My only one and I hope all of my kids grow up to have very well-paying jobs or businesses or careers or whatever, okay? Because they owe me a lot. So I know you saw in a previous haul, I bought a new tripod because I told you I didn't want to take my tripods up and down the steps and all that. Anyway, I bought this new tripod from Best Buy. It was $120. Nice. I like, like it. I like it a lot. So the first time I use it, Ayana knocks it over and breaks it. Mm hmm. Yes. So. Yeah, that was like a complete waste of money. Complete waste of money. But anyway, I'm like, sweetie, how do you not see the camera and the tripod right there? It's like they're 
I don't know what it is now. They uh, they don't see when I'm recording. They'll come. They'll stand in front, front of the camera. You know, they'll talk to me and all of that. I, I don't really mind. But it's like they it blends into the to the room, whatever room I'm in. It, it blends into it. How is that possible? They do it all the time. They knock it over. So I had two G G7X. I had a Mark II and a Mark III. Excuse me. I can't find them for the life of me. I don't know where they're, where they're at. Um, I was supposed to be shipping them off to get them fixed. Or did I? I got to figure this out. I, I can't remember. I really can't. But anyway, what I was trying to say is that I had two of them and they knocked over the tripod with the camera on there and broke both of the lens, the lens things, whatever you want to call it. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, I'm just trying to remember they've done it so many times with knocking over my tripod. One time, Ayana backed up and stepped, kind of like was playing around. She stepped and broke one of the legs off of my tripod because, you know, they come with three. <sighs> anyway, I'm just so disappointed. Like, I've only had that tripod for like a week and I've only used it once. And the time that I used it, the first time she broke it. And now I kind of got it rigged, but I don't want to have to rig something like I don't want to. I just want it to work. I want to be able to pop it open and stand it up and I want it to work. Anywho. Yeah. Back to these dishes. put her lunchbox, the sugar container in those two jars. For now, I'm gonna let them dry a little bit. I'm gonna clean off the counter and then I'm just gonna move that stuff over, but I just set them there for now until I clean the counter. So speaking of Ayana on, we're actually um, going to one of the colleges that she was accepted at in a couple days. We're going there. Um, oh, goodness gracious. I'm so excited for her. But it's a whole thing where the accepted students get to come. They're going to give us all the information, give us a tour of the dorms and so forth. And it's very exciting. She's very excited. Two of her friends got accepted into that same college as well. And even though Ayana really, really, really wants to work with animals, but not be a veterinarian, because I know a lot of people said, well, she should go to be a vet. She's not looking to be a vet. She wanted to go into zoology. That's what she wanted to do. So, but there's only a select few colleges that offer zoology. So, and she wanted to go to a HBCU. We didn't see zoology at none of the HBCUs. So she is now, her major is animal biology. And we're gonna see if she likes that or whatever. But like I told her, get up there and take all different types of classes, art classes and I don't know, pottery and whatever. Just take classes that, you know, and see what you like. You may wanna work with animals, you may not, I don't know. I changed my major so many times. I majored in, I have a degree in business, but I majored, I majored in economics. I went to school for film for a year. Um, that's how I started my whole, I'm not gonna say my love. I had a love for film and uh, photography before that, but that's how I started my recording kind of um, background. And what else? Um, economics, 
film. I went to school for uh, mathematics. Um, I'm really good with calculus and all of that. I was getting A's and math. I'm very, very good at math. I used to be a senior financial analyst. Yes, in a previous life. But I'm really good with math and I thought I wanted to go into like a math major. Um, but I didn't because it's kind of boring. I'm very creative. I like to be creative. I like, you know this, you know this about me. But we are all multifaceted. We all have a, a ton of things that we can do. We're good at, you know, you just hone in on something that you're very passionate about, which is cleaning and home decor and decorating and go with that. But anyway, <laughs> but like I was saying, so we're going to go see her college and she's very excited and as she should be. And I'm taking two of her friends up there that have been accepted as well. Oh, it's a four and a half hour drive. I'm not looking forward to that, but we're excited. She's excited. I can't believe my baby is going to college soon. <laughs> I'm not going to miss her. No, I'm playing. I'm going to miss her immensely but she doesn't need to know that My rugs in the kitchen are not your t traditional like kitchen rugs, but I absolutely love them. I'm starting to notice that I love the Aztec kind of pattern. I gravitate towards that a lot. And I don't know, I love those rugs, but I am going to throw them in the washer. I didn't throw them in the washer during this video, but I am going to throw them in the washer. I might take them to the laundry mat since they're a little thicker. I may do that, but I love those rugs. I love black and white. I love black and white. It's so pretty and then pops of color. I want to do more of that lilac color in the kitchen, but I'm I'm trying I'm trying to put myself on a spending budget after these next couple of hauls that you see cuz I have a couple videos um haul videos that I haven't posted yet <laughs> because I didn't want to put like haul Ha ha. I definitely want to have some cleaning, some decorating and things like that in there. I didn't want you to get, you know, bored or anything like that. But the next video is um, an Ikea and Walmart video because they're really close to each other. So I went to both and then I have a another haul after that. But yeah, I'm working on the entryway and also Chris's bedroom. Those are the two big things in the bathroom that I was working on. So anyway. <laughs> I didn't want to bore y'all so y'all will get the hauls eventually but in between the hauls I'm trying to get some cleaning or some decorating in there fool me once fool me twice Shame. when you're hiding things might as well be lies can you ever get it right how long will I let this shit fly hit up my girls pull up I'm outside wait about the curb too upset to drive you, getting on my nerves We gon' get lit on this ride I look too damn good to fight Don't expect me to come home tonight Don't worry about me, see you in the morning But you never thought that I would leave Think I had about enough I mean, hold up, you could call me on my bluff I ain't coming to wait up You gon' miss this party, too late Oh, I'm sorry, but you never thought Now I'm just wiping off these appliances. It does get a little dusty over here. Well, you know, throughout your house, it gets a little dusty. So you want to 
wipe off everything and keep it nice and clean. And then I'm also putting out my new Keurig that I got from Walmart. And was that in the video? I can't even remember. These The videos are starting to run together um, on me on which haul is what. But um, what I'm thinking about doing is putting some pantry shelving around this window right here. And I have a carpenter that I'm going to come and I'm gonna try to record that if, if he wants to be on video, I'll record it. If not, then I'm not gonna worry about it. But I wanna see how everything looks, kind of get a plan, map that out. And so I am trying to commission the carpenter to do this and also my linen closet upstairs by the bathroom, kind of work on both of those projects if possible. Um, but yeah, I'm just wiping. I wiped off all of that. I put most of the wine on the bar cart and then I put the other um, items on top of the refrigerator and I'm just cleaning this and organizing this a little bit just to make it more aesthetically pleasing. But yeah, and then after that I need to finish sweeping. I'm not going to mop in this video because the kids were still up. It was a lot going on. My oldest daughter was there and so forth, uh, but that'll come in another video. you do it that alone i'ma get back when i do don't call my phone and don't leave the lights on for me don't worry about me see you in the morning but you never thought that i would be think i had about enough i mean hold up you could call me on my bluff i ain't coming to wait up you won't miss this body too late for the sorries that you never Everyone says my oldest daughter looks like me and she does. Sometimes I can see it in pictures, but to me, she looks so much like her dad and her dad's side of the family. Don't mind the dining room. The next cleaning video is going to be the dining room. <laughs> Look, people, your girl got so much going on. It's just, you know, you do a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. So I'm not even I'm not even mad. It'll get done. But anyway, back to my oldest daughter. So I had her one month before I turned 18 was it yeah it was a month before I turned 18 years old and I was a senior in high school and everything but I don't know she just I just love her I just love her so much and I made sure I mean I gave up so much sacrificed so much I always knew that I just wanted to give her a good quality life and you know what I've always heard my entire life Siobhan, you are square. You're so square. It made me think of that when there was a podcast and they were talking about Russell Wilson and how Sierra left, you know, she stopped being with Future and she went to Russell Wilson and so forth and how Russell was so square. But I've heard that my entire life and I'm like, I'm not really square. I don't look at myself as being square. I don't smoke or anything like that. But every now and then I'll have a drink. I don't drink drink because I just I've never been I've never been a drinker like I knew that I had responsibilities I was going to college so who wants to drink and go to go to class with a hangover or after I graduated from um, school uh, I got a job who wants to go to work with a hangover and plus you got a kid like I knew you know I still wanted to go out I wanted to have fun I remember going out and staying out till two o'clock in the morning and then going home, you know, like my daughter would stay the night over my mom's house or whatever, or maybe she stayed the night with her, her grandmother or whatever. I don't know. And going home, sleeping, and then getting up and going to work in the morning. Like I could do that, but like square, what is square? Like what is square? I've always, even though I love my ratchet music and everything, I still have a love and a relationship with the Lord. And, um, I want to have fun. I want to party. I want to socialize. I want to laugh. I want to travel like I want to do all those things. But what is square? I'm trying to understand that. Like I never wanted to do anything illegal. I never wanted to have a record. None of that 
does that make me square? I don't know. So leave me a comment down below, but I've gotten that my entire life. You're so square. You're so square. No, I just think about the long term. I like I don't want to do anything that's going to negatively affect me long term. That's going to get me in trouble or anything like that. I don't want to do any of that, but I still want to have a good time. Just, you know, reasonably. Does that make sense? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. But anyway, here's the kitchen. So the kitchen is nice and clean. If you're wondering what the boxes are that I just showed you, sorry. The boxes have um, some stuff for my statements by Siobhan Business, soaps and body butters and all that stuff. It has stuff in there. And then also I have some of their Easter stuff that I just stuck in that box. The kids haven't really touched it at all, so I'm not really worried. I'm not putting a lot in their Easter baskets, so... I'm just, I'm not because either we're going to, I'm going to take them shopping to get some like spring stuff or we're going to go to Kalahari, but I'm not putting a lot of stuff in their Easter baskets. So anyway, thank you so, so much for watching that part of the video. Now we're going to move into making this egg salad. If you don't know, one of my all time favorite things ever in the world is eggs. I love eggs, no matter how you make them, no matter what you put them on, no matter what you add to them. I absolutely wholeheartedly love eggs, everything about them. My sister-in-law also got the um, gastric sleeve surgery and she used to like eggs, but now she doesn't. She was like, oh no, I can't, but I love them. So anyway, I'm cutting up the eggs. I put a teaspoon of vinegar in there and I actually watched the video a while ago from what is her name? What is her name? Gina Young. Gina Young watched her video on how she made her egg salad. And that's just, I just throw this stuff together. So I use some mustard, some real mayo, a little bit of sugar, maybe like a tablespoon of sugar, some salt, and I use parsley and paprika. And that was it. That's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Again, I love eggs. It's a great source of protein. I've always loved them. Not it's not everybody's cup of tea. <laughs> it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I love them. So thank y'all so much, so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this little snippet of me making this. I'm the only one that's going to eat this and I'm not going to eat all these eggs. I don't know why I made such a big portion. I'm not going to say I'm the only one. Me and little Chris will eat this. The other kids, they're not interested. Um, so it's okay, but I love little simple stuff like this where I could eat a little bit of it for breakfast or I could have it for lunch or whenever I want a little snack, I can just go and get it. This tuna salad and stuff like that, um, chicken salad is just those perfect things that you can make and snack on. So I love, love, love it. But thank y'all so much for watching. I love y'all to the moon and back. I hope you got something out of this video. Definitely leave definitely leave me a comment down below. And I think what I'm going to do, I gave the $100 gift card away, or not gift card, the $100 cash app giveaway last month. I think every month I'm gonna do a giveaway. So look out for that in these coming videos. But thank y'all so much for watching. I love y'all to the moon and back. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Tell me that you don't wanna leave just yet. No, my eyes agree. It's almost like when we first met. Oh, I don't care, it's getting too late. I want you and I can't wait. Don't wanna spend a minute without you. I know you feel the same. So come on, give me love. I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body. Come hit me with your touch. And make me wanna say, damn. And yeah, you know what's up. Ain't nothing I won't do, I won't do for your body.